Hey guys! So today I'm going to be building a female XLR connector to a male quarter inch TRS adapter cable. So let's begin with supplies. You need a balanced audio cable, a soldering iron and solder, this little razor because I don't have a cable stripper and apparently that's really important. So we'll have to make do with what we have. Also you're going to need some cutters, some pliers, a male quarter inch TRS connector and a female XLR connector which comes in like four different components some helping hands very important and the rest of a soldering kit which comes with shrink tubing which will be needed at a later time in this video let's get started okay so first things first we need to cut a slit at about an inch from the end of the cable along the surface like so and we are gonna be removing all of the inner conductors pulling them out of that little one inch slit and then removing the excess jacket of the cable bam just like that now you're gonna be separating all of the copper wiring to one side and twisting that all together, like so. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and strip the hot and cold conductors. Now, this is where the little razor shines because you use it and make little tiny slits on one side, kind of like you're filleting a fish. And then you go ahead and flip that cable over and do the same process on the other side as well. Now, this part's very important. Do not clamp down all the way. Don't do it because you will cut through the cable. Just apply enough force and kind of wiggle back and forth. And with that applied force, begin pulling and yanking until that outer coating is removed from the cable. And repeat the process on the other cable until you have both of those stripped down to the copper wiring without damaging. The internal component like so yes we got this now i gotta gotta turn these ends here now before adding solder to the tips it's best to twist them neatly i have set this just over 300 celsius just slightly over this little sponge here it's a little damp and this stuff here I went ahead and dipped it in a little bit of this. It kind of does help with the way it melts. Go. Tiniest bit. It's ready. And I've never soldered before, so let's see if it works. I don't think it's hot enough yet. There we go. Oh, it's working. Yes. One down. I don't know why, but I keep wanting to say soldering. It's soldering. Soldering. English, come through, girl. Come through, please. Okay. Now that we've got those tinned. This is very important. Before you begin soldering, you have to make sure you put the casing through the cable. Yes. Okay, so now we gotta fill this connector with solder so we can get our cables in there. So let's see if I can hook it up here. Here we go. For this part, I turn the component upside down because they are shaped like little U's. That way I can fill the empty spot with solder and get it ready for the cables that are gonna be attached soon. So before I started this project, I actually practiced on a little port that came with the soldering kit just to make sure I had the technique down before I started. Now I gotta solder these onto here. All right, this is the hard part. So we've got the first. So unbeknownst to me, this was actually the easiest part, but no one told me. So here we are. 
hey, it's all about the learning process, is it not? Anyways, I thoroughly enjoyed making this component. And that is the final result. That's what you should see once you have all the pieces attached. And now I'm just adding the rest of the components to go ahead and close it into the casing. And yeah, it's like matching puzzle pieces. That's kind of like what it reminded me of when I was putting it together and I love puzzles. So that made it more fun. Here you go. Okay, so I just stripped the wire and the same way that I did previously, well now I have to tend these tips and get them ready to put them into the other connector. So before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in now, just so I can have it ready in this side. And then we're putting in this sleeve that it came with. It's like a clear sleeve and putting one of these in too. You gotta apply heat to it. So gotta make sure those are on before we do anything else. So here I'm just opening up the little prongs to the internal component of the male quarter inch TRS adapter. That way I can go ahead and prep it with some solder, get it ready for the cables to be attached. Boop. Let's get some of that stuff and yeah, just adding solder to the parts that are going to be attached to the cable and just making adjustments as necessary. You have to be as comfortable as you can and let's get to tending these. It's safe to say I was starting to feel like a pro by this point. <laughs> so? Yep, definitely feeling myself in this one. Okay, I'm gonna cut off some of that so I don't need to do the whole thing. And go back to this here. First things first, I'm gonna start with just bending this like so. So this is a method that I actually saw in a tutorial that I will link down in the description box. Um, these are not my own methods. I'm a complete novice when it comes to electronics or anything that deals with electronic components, such as building a cable. Yeah, so this is a new experience, but I love it. Okay, now that that's dry, I can cut up the excess. Stick the cable in there. I just flipped it over. Remember, the hot wire is gonna go on this side, and the cold wire is gonna go on this side. So, like that. And then I can clamp these down. Okay, so I accidentally left the cables a little bit too long, so I had to go back in there and trim the cables and strip them again. I had to be very careful because I did not want to damage the wires, and then I resumed my project. I use these little tweezers. 
So one of the main things I did while doing this project is draw little diagrams of where the conductors were supposed to be placed and in what spot. Meaning that if I was to attach the conductors, the hot cold and the ground to the female XLR connector, I had to make sure that it was flipped on my diagram. Right, so that's what you end up with. There is the left, the right, and the ground. So, now you slide this. And here's where I was supposed to test the cable, but I forgot. And I went through all this trouble. There, got it. So now we're gonna put some heat. We're gonna put it on the warm setting and low. Now, because I had never done this before, I started on the lower settings and gradually worked my way up. So now it's nice and snug and release the plastic sleeve against this. Now we gotta test it. Now we gotta use a multimeter to check for continuity. So we're gonna set it to this little thing here. Right down there. And just to see if they're... Okay. The tip... Oh, doing this backwards. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need help. The tip works. Okay. So, tip. Perfect. The ring. We did get a beep there, but not a strong one. Let me see. Ooh. Okay, and now we gotta check the sleeve. Okay, so according to this, it should work. So now I'm all set. I can go ahead and slide up this insulating ring and then I can go ahead and close this up. And we can go ahead and plug it in as our final test to make sure that it is working. Now, since I don't have an instrument to test this cable on or with, I'm gonna try to do a continuity test with the multimeter. We're gonna turn this on first. There we go. Good. So the tip corresponds with the hot. So we've got the tip here and hot corresponds with number two. So number two, found it. That works. Now the ring corresponds with the cold connector, which is this bottom one here, number three. The sleeve corresponds with number one. Okay, so there's continuity in all three. So that's gonna be my test to see if it works or not. It looks like it is. Um, I don't have an instrument to plug this in with but there is continuity, so I will call that a successful setup for this cable. And that is all I have for this project. Thank you so much. I had a lot of fun making this cable and hopefully I get to do this in the future. All right, bye now.